In this video, we will take a look at heating design by creating a new project and having an overview of its features and functionality. The first screen we get when starting a new project is this tab of general project data where we can type the project's name, code, street address, some notes and maybe add a picture. And let's save our new project to a file. Every new project comes preloaded with a default selection of equipment and materials from the library. For example, by expanding the rigid pipes folder, I can see that there is already a set of straight copper pipes preselected. This is not a single type of pipe, but instead a family or table of pipes. And I can use them in my project. If I am going to be using more types of pipes, I can easily add them to my project by clicking the Add Product Table button and check select the types of pipes that I want. And I can have as many families of pipes as I want. For each folder of equipment or materials, there's always a default type selected. This is marked with bold and it is used as the default type for each new element that I create in the building model, as we will see later on. Let's expand the Gas Boilers folder. There's one preselected family of gas boilers. It's a uh, unical boilers, but I can easily add one more type. Click Add Product Table and select another boiler model. For example, the Wisman. So the Wisman family is added to my project and I can easily set this as the default model family by right clicking and selecting Set as Default. In the table, I can see the technical specifications for each model such as its heat output, its electrical specifications or geometric data, such as the positioning of the water inlet and outlet or the gas inlet. I can also take a look into more detailed specifications in the products specification sheet, which opens by clicking here. A very important piece of equipment for the heating installation is a manifold. And under manifolds, I can also see that there's a preselected family of manifolds with different number of ports. At the bottom, I have a sample photograph of the manifold, its dimensions, drawing, and the 3D model that we will see on the building model. So now let us see how we will model the building and the heating installation. I will start by setting an existing floor plan as a background on which I can add architectural elements and heating elements. Click Floor Plan. I will select a floor plan in a DWG file. I can either link to the file or embed the DWG into my project. I can check select or deselect the layers that I want. And I now have the floor plan as a background. I can add as many floors as I want and I can also attach floor plans to the other floors. In this new floor I will attach the same floor plan because the two floors have the same floor plan. And here is my background in 3D on which I will work to model the building. A good place to start is to add the heat generators. In this case it is going to be a gas boiler so click the gas boiler tool and add the gas boiler here. As this is a wall hang boiler it would be a good idea to model the walls as well so that the boiler would snap to the walls and it would be easier to place on the floor plan. Click the wall tool and then draw the walls. And now if I try to add one more gas boiler I can see that the gas boiler snaps to the walls. It's nice to have them for guidance. Walls can also be used to calculate heat losses but we will see this in another video. For the moment, keep in mind that I can either model the heating elements only by optionally using a floor plan as a background or I can model architectural elements such as walls, slabs and roofs. Now let's add a manifold to our model. Click the manifold tool and place a manifold here. And let's take a closer look at the 3D model that I have created so far. I can rotate it, zoom in and out and I can specify how I want the model to be displayed. 
wireframe for faster drawing, hide or render. I can turn the floor plan on or off the grid and there's also a handy auto zoom function that zooms to the selected element. Now let's connect the gas boiler to the manifold with pipes. Click the double pipe tool and click at the boiler's connections. This dialog opens up and here I can specify a number of parameters such as how the pipes run along the wall, the type of pipe that is going to be used, the valves and the distances from the wall. I will run the pipes at 1 meter height and then they go up to 2.3 meters and I will set the distance from the wall to be 3 centimeters. Of course for this distance I will have to take into account the pipes insulation. So after I click OK the pipes have reached the point that I specified and I can continue to run the pipe to finally reach the manifold. I can now view the pipe in 3D and if I select it I can see its properties in the property grid. Here is the selected pipe type. For the moment the water flow rate is zero as it is calculated automatically and uh, I do not have any closed circuits yet. If I change the flow rate calculation mode to manual then I can input my own value and see what happens to the pipe's other calculated properties for example the water velocity and the friction losses. If I keep incrementing the flow rate then at some point the pipe's diameter will be changed to fit the new requirements.